it's been a Swansea car um, since the 1950s. It's a 1930 2 litre low chassis Magonda. Uh, I've had it 14 years. Um, it was uh, restored by the gentleman that I bought it off. Doing First World War Yeomanry Cavalry, um, which was uh, basically the uh, um, TA of the period, part of the territorial force. Um, been doing reenactment, the First World War reenactment now for a few years. More fun doing it with the horse than uh, than anything else. We try to get everything as period correct as we possibly can, including the uniforms and the tack. Some of the tack I've got on Davy here now is. Uh, some of it's original kit, the bridle's all original kit, not necessarily First World War dated, but Second World War dated. Um, saddle's an original 1902 pattern uh, saddle. Um, Davy is a, a Section D Welsh cob, he's 15 hands, 2 inches tall, um, which is just the right size, just within the right size for First World War cavalry horses, which were basically between 15-1 and 16-2. Um, He's a nice, good horse for it. They're good, strong horses. They were quite sought after during the First World War for pulling guns and as cavalry horses because of their nice, kind nature, easy-going nature, but strong, good, strong, independently-minded horses that you could rely on. What was the uh, reg regiment this again? This is um, Essex Yeomanry. First World War Essex Yeomanry. Um, they, the Essex Yeomanry were... Um, one of the only yeomanry regiments to keep their horses right the way through the First World War, which is a good reason for us doing this because it takes us right from 1914 through to 1918 that we can actually still turn up with the horses. Um, yes, he quite likes big engines, don't you, Dabby? The bigger the load of the engines, the more he likes it. Yeah. So you're going to have to move your knees. What do you think of the weight of that? 
Such astonishing boy. 